I just don't I don't get why it, it allows my voice but not other sounds just through my board. That's weird, man. So it definitely has some kind of a sophisticated noise cancellation program built into it. Hey, uh, remember a couple of months ago or so, they had a big new explanation of explanation of uh, you will not do this, you will do this. They may have heard you last time, heard the song cut in the... Disguise now in any time we feel Sound effects trying to come through. Dang it, there's something. Yeah, there is definitely a noise cancellation program. I can see it now, how it works. It will only pick up human voices. It, you cannot maybe, throw wait, anything wait, else wait. Maybe it's um, up on the top right. Is there right click on allow this time? The, the, uh, the uh, what are they called? Oh, I bet it's that. Up top right computer. There's going to be a one up there. And it's it's blocking, so unblock this time. An experimental feature that may improve the performance of video calls. I don't see anything else on here. Whoa, why is that on? Okay. I don't know. I know you're going to find it. No. Well, oh, well, I have another idea. Sometimes background apps can fuck it up too, right? If I have background apps in my phone that I'm using for Discord. That could fuck things up too. But I, all I can say is my, vo- all your other my voice works turn off your really good. The voice works great. So what we're finding out here is really important for a lot of podcasters that we're figuring out right now. Yes, we're figuring this out. You're going to be a masterpiece. And I think that we're on this. I believe that Discord... You'll have to. You'll have to type out a a little uh, paragraph of what happened to you and how you figured it out one day for future kids. Well, yeah, what we're doing was we're entrepreneur in this shit, man. Right now, nobody it's really knows. Figuring out. Nobody really knows figuring this stuff, man. We're just figuring it out. Figuring it out. Yeah. We're, the only way we can figure it out I, is I experimenting, you, man. I told you to reboot. If you, you didn't call, yeah, yet. you're the one that was helping me tonight, man. You've been you've been a big help to me. I'm trying something new, and you are, you are helping me, sir. Thank you so much. I think if you reboot right now and come back in, in five minutes, we go to the bathroom, walk around. You come back, and I bet it works. Why don't you reboot your whole system? Shut it down. Oh, yeah? Okay. That'll be the answer. You know what? Maybe just shut it That'll down. That'll be. But shut it down. Maybe, wait 30 seconds. Go do you a drink. Go kiss your girl. Whack Come on. back, turn it on, and then tell me when you're back on. I'll be looking for you. Okay. That's going to fix it. Watch. Okay? See you later. Okay, bro. Hmm. Okay, turn this up. No. What the hell? One thing, can't hear anything. <laughs> That's weird. Oh yeah. That's a strange sound. It's the wrong one. It's the wrong one. There it is. That should work, man. That should fucking work. It is set the same as my other channels. So if that doesn't fucking work, that's really fucking weird. Just play the goddamn song. Break through our disguise now. 
canceled me right out immediately. Okay, something's weird. How come that works? How come that works? What the fuck? Okay. Uh huh. That one. They're both turned down. Okay. They might be. I know for sure that is definitely has to do with some kind of a filter. So I just can't do that. I can't play music through fucking Discord for you guys that I used to do on Skype. So fuck Discord. I, I certainly hate it. Seriously. I'm starting to hate Discord. It fucking sucks. They, they put filters on there now. I can't even play nothing through it. Uh... Obviously, it must have been a problem for people in background noises, so they have a, a heavy-duty background noise cancellation program on, on there. Anything I play that's not my voice gets canceled out immediately. It plays through for a second and then canceled out, and it goes right through their fucking app, and it's their app doing it, not me. I'm, I'm fucking serious, man. Like, so this is good to know. So it, people might get really frustrated with this shit, man. At least I figured it you out. You rebooted? Yes. 
And it's the same thing. Mm. I'm sorry. I, I know what it is. It's like I said, it is a definitely something to do with Discord. No doubt about it. There's absolutely no fucking doubt about it. It is Discord. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay, let's see if I can do something. Well, here. Stop the end of the world. Mm-hmm. Oh no, it's okay, man. Like, I don't care. It's just it's frustrating when you encounter hey, problems like this. No. We didn't have this Bro. problem before when we started doing this. We didn't have shit problems like that. There'll be a way around it tomorrow. Talk with um who um. Who's that computer whiz guy that says the N word all day? He know everything. He'll figure it out for you. Oh, yeah. Is that something lethal? Nobody Jimmy knows. lethal? Oh, Jimmy might help me with this, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I, yeah Jimmy Jim, will, Jimmy'd probably be the only one that would help me with this. Call him. Yeah. Call him. And he'll make you hack into their system, or they have to make you play. <laughs> that would be him, fucking hilarious. I heard him one day try to explain to Debbie, of all people, how to do something. And he said, do this, 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 and then hit that, slide down to there, do this, and you'll be fine. She did it, and it, boom. So, uh, call him. You ought to do it. He's up right now. Call him right now. Mm. Jim Leaf will up. He just did a trailer watching cops videos or Jerry Springer, something like that. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I almost went live by accident. Yeah. Are you? Oh, right. Well, we're back. I want to see if this on works. The, uh, with the interview so, with Sp- there's Can you hear that? Just... And I was just asking. Can you hear the other voices? Know. If he lives anywhere near Stonehenge, I don't know why I thought that because I just you had place, something when that. you were. Sh- 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 Have you so ever been there? Playing? No, I had a chance once and I turned it down because I was in a rock band and we had a gig and Mike, now I regret it. Like, right? It's the most wonderful weird, spiritual place you could mm. ever go to. And Doesn't I've that piss you times. off when you can't figure uh, it out? Actually, I, I think I figured it out. I, I actually think it has voice recognition. And oh, yes, yes. No, Discord has voice recognition and cancels there, out there. any other fucking noise in the background besides your voice. About rocks and stones and how spiritual they are. People play and how some songs people. All I used to play Discord. shit in there here all the time like this, Kurt. I used to do it all the fucking time. Earlier everyone everyone time told me to shut the fuck up, turn your shit off, and it used to light up my fucking thing, my icon. So I know what I'm talking about. And now it's different. I can't play anything in the background. It doesn't work. It doesn't work, man. Seriously, I, I plugged into the same thing that you're listening to. So I can hear it. Hmm. It's pretty fucked up, man. I, I can play. I can When I talk. Like, I can plug this into my channel. I plugged the fucking output into my channel. It worked for a second or two, and then it, it canceled it out. Seriously, I'll do it again. Same sort of thing. It's a stone circle, um, which a lot of people can't really understand why it's there, what it was for. They've got... Uh, their own ideas that it was a spiritual site of some description where they would perhaps give things to the gods or it was a place uh, for something else but somebody I was in the pub one night having a drink and somebody said to me Spooks why don't you try to find out what Stonehenge was originally there for and I just spun around on my seat and looked at him and I said what a great idea I've never give that a thought so yeah, I, love I went Madonna. home and I, I, I mulled it over in my mind and I had a chat with my spirit guides one night and I said, could you possibly show me 
what Stonehenge Stone. was originally Shaking. there for, Shaking what was it used for. And uh, I know my spirit guides are fantastic, and, and whatever the information they give me is 100%. So they won't lie, they won't give me uh, any false information. However, it's only as good how as I, how song? I Colin, look at Colin. it or how I deduce, you know, what I can pick up from it. So I asked my guides, can you show me what Stonehenge was used for? And they straight away started to show me pictures. And um, doing, brother? I... the first thing they showed me can was Stonehenge in the distance from wow, looking from above. And then they showed me the sun Son of a bitch, right? and they showed me the moon. No, I can hear. And then they no, showed me I an animal of some description. I couldn't God remember God. what the animal was. Whether okay. that that was weird, man. I was that was loud, eh? Okay, so that's using my channel. Okay, Look this, and this see is the if same one of fucking knobs is turned down all the and way. Then they showed me finally some fruit. All the way. Loads of fruit. Look at all your knobs. Is there can one you fucking hear the guy or not? And nothing. I had to work out Just what I you. thought that was all about and what they showed me for. And what I deduced from what my guide showed me was that Stonehenge was a giant clock of sorts, Seriously? a calendar which showed Nothing. the times of the Damn. day, the times of the week, the month, the year, and also the seasons. Right now, Wallace, it leave would tell the people uh, who went there when I'm to plant, you when to harvest, and when to rest. Sure. It would Leave maybe show them when to bring in the animals from. So you seriously, all your you, buttons. dude, you can't hear that because now There's it's working. Nothing, no, nothing coming through Discord. Here, I'll refresh. Well, it's showing that it's coming through. I, I'm not doing anything right now. Um, play a song. No, I, I, I was no, I don't not playing the song. I want to went. Oh, okay. but to find out how we can make that work, play something and then press every button, turn every knob, and we'll figure why, it out. Why the fuck is my go favorite? through every knob on the goddamn thing? We'll figure it out with you all. I'm here. My God is with us. I don't understand. Play a song. Play a goddamn song to where when we figure it out, we'll find the button. Okay. Play a song. Now, start moving buttons. Who is? What is? Yes. I'm making noise right now. You're so, talking. Uh, obviously. I'm hearing you through Discord. I am hearing you live Discord. Help me. My God. Oh, so I'm talking to you just through like brain waves. So that's that's where the problem is right there. That's where the fucking prop. What now? I'm talking to you. How? How am I talking to you through Discord? So this is how we've been talking all night. You don't even have your. You don't even have your shit plugged into the whole goddamn units. You did that. So hang up with me. Figure that out. I'll be here. Call me back. I'll call you back in.
Wow. What a revolting development. This is a show that needs to be erased from the history of mankind. Totally um, erased. The registration it, on the car yeah, was O I L. Oil. Is this Wolfman? Yeah. Oh, welcome to the conversation. This is. Uh, this is one of my co-hosts, actually, uh, and I'd like to introduce you to S Mr. Spooks okay. from the UK, and we're talking Stonehenge right now. Ah, right, okay. <laughs> um, so I got the word solution from my spirit guides, and I was driving on a driving lesson behind a car uh, a couple of days later, and the registration on the car was OIL, O-I-L, and then some numbers. And all of a sudden it hit me. And I thought, that's what my guides are showing me. That's how they move those stones on an on a oil-based solution. And I went back and I said to my spirit guides, is this how you move these big stones on an oil-based solution? And they showed me a great big round, um, like, um, how can you ex explain it to you? Like a big ball of stone. Yeah? Yeah. And it was it was huge. And then they showed me um, wooden tracks, okay, like like a railway line, yeah. Yeah. And um, it was fastened together, but these tracks were in very short sections. And what they did, they put these big balls of stone onto the tracks. This is what they were showing me. And then they put the uprights of Stonehenge on top of these balls. Now, these balls were covered in some, like, oily solution. And I don't know what it was, but um, possibly animal fat or something. And the balls rolled, and the pieces of stone actually rolled across the top of the balls. And then they were picked... When they were picked... Uh, pick no. And then they'd was pick the track up and run it round to the front, put it down again, and the balls would carry on rolling along the track. Does that make sense? Uh, to yeah, you? but yeah, except when if they have to go sense up sense big sense hills sense or anything. Other than that, it's well, I don't know how they I don't know how they did the hills, but you know. I think they uh, use uh, sound vibrations, uh, sound resonance, sound vibration. Uh, not sure. I don't know. I'm only going on what what they actually showed me. My spirit guide showed me. But if you think about it, it, it it's a it's a fantastic way of doing it. Uh, they would have had ways of getting up, up the hill. I mean, look at them. They built the pyramids for goodness' sake, and they moved all those great big pieces of uh, of, of stone along the on on the sand. You know, if they could do that back in the days, then why not? Why can't they get a ball up a hill? <laughs> Yeah, oh, it's interesting. Hey, Wolf, I, I don't know if you saw my text I sent you. I'm actually got to go to work. Oh, that, okay. I'm a, I'm a, well, my I, bad. You got so, a question uh, in. Was, well, yeah. <laughs> so you're not doing a show right now, are you? Yeah, this, like is a pre -record, this is a pre recorded show. Yep. Oh, well, I didn't know. Okay, right. So on. if you want to ask any questions uh, before you, you, you have to go, then go ahead. Um, I, I don't. So the topic is about Stonehenge. Is that what the topic's about? Well, right now, like he's a a spiritual medium, so, and, and some of his spirit guides were teaching him things about Stonehenge, and this is what he was researching. Interesting. So what's what's uh, country are you in, sir? I'm in the UK. Wow. Do you know I Tony live... Topping by chance? No, I don't know. No, um, I live about probably a hundred and fifty. 120 miles from Stonehenge. Wow. So, so have, I've you been spent a, have you spent a lot of time there as far as actually... I on, have been there. I've been there quite, quite a few times. Probably three or four times I've been to Stonehenge. Uh, it's amazing. It's a wonderful feeling. But the strange thing is that after all this information I had from my spirit guides, uh, and uh, which I have spoken to several other mediums about it, and they've said, wow. Spooks, that, 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 it makes an awful lot of sense. It really makes sense. And I, I got in touch with Stonehenge and I rang them up and they just didn't want to know. They weren't interested in what I had to say. And I said to this lady, I can't believe that you don't want to know. You don't want to hear what I have to say. She said, that's not what we, we're not into. Spirit. Whoa, whoa, 
whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on a minute. I said, Stonehenge is one of the most spiritual sites in the whole world, and you don't want to hear. And she did not want to know. <laughs> I, I was absolutely gobsmacked. So I said, well, okay, fine, not a problem. I said, but it will be going in my book, which it did. Huh? Yeah. I, I, I was shocked. I was absolutely shocked. No, oh, they they don't care about that kind of stuff. First book no, review, I'm because I'm new to. Uh, uh, say that again. Stonehenge. Will this be the first? Will this be your first one on Stonehenge, or have you written others also? No, m my book's not specifically about Stonehenge. Um, I've written three books now, and uh, my second book, A Walk on Spirit Street, is um, has an article in there about two or three pages about exactly what I'm telling you now. Is exactly what is in the short story. My books are all short stories. Some of them are half a page. Some of them are two pages. Some of them are three pages. Um, but they're all true stories, things that have actually happened to me, myself, things I've seen, spirits I've seen, voices I've heard, visitations in my bedroom. Uh, I just tell the story as it happens, basically as it goes. Uh, I've got no reason to lie. I don't make money from it. Whatever money I make goes to cancer research. Um, it's just something that happened to me in my life, and it took me on a, a totally different journey, and um, I'm now a totally, totally different person. Um, I don't think you would have liked to have known me 10, 15 years ago. I wasn't a very nice person. But since I've been into the spiritual side of things, uh, it, they've totally changed me, and I, I love them for it. Absolutely love them for it. Wow. So, Wolf, uh, how did you meet this gentleman? Uh, this is um, very interesting. Yeah, I seem to have a knack for finding very interesting people that <laughs> haven't... Yeah. That haven't... Uh, that need to be that need to be heard, basically. Yeah, yeah, and I don't well, like. To, I don't. Guess, uh, how long are you guys gonna do the show for? Because I'm gonna, I'm only gonna, I'm gonna work for about an hour and a half. And are you gonna still be doing the show for two hours or three hours? Or what's the plan today? Well, we're just doing half hour sections, and I don't know how many we'll get done today. So we're doing a half hour okay. at a time, and then. And don't forget it's New Year's Eve tomorrow, so I want to be going out and having a, a few drinks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Start well, having drinks now if you want. <laughs> I think we should all start having drinks right now. Call in. I work. actually, I actually already had a few shots. I came back from uh, L.A. Uh, you saw my tweets, probably driving in the rain for four hours, but uh, I took some, took a few shots of, of a little vodka. <laughs> Good for you. Cheers. And put it in my coffee. Actually, I put it in the coffee and. Uh, Cheers, mate. Got a little green. Yeah, I got some good stories to tell you from what uh, happened at John Polk's house. Some very interesting things, uh, some things I learned that I didn't even know about. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but we could, uh, I'll tell you about it later. We but, could do uh, a whole please, show on uh, it. Spooks. Yeah, we, we could. We, I'll uh, see. How, I mean, I haven't slept since uh, yesterday. I, I, I had a, for, you yeah. know what? I had a feeling, a gut feeling to get a hold of you right now, even though I was doing this yeah, interview. The timing was perfect, actually, because uh, I'm driving to my warehouse right now. i know it was like it was an imperative i said something was telling me no you <laughs> even though you're doing this interview you got to get a hold of eric right now 
So I did. I wish I had time to do more research on what Spooks is talking about because I mean I don't know I know Stonehenge, but I don't know I don't know very much to be able to talk intelligently about any any topics. But the whole oil concept of using oil is interesting because I've never thought of it or considered it. So that's now it's now something I'm gonna have to look at. You know, I mean, if you're spirit well, when, are when, I, when I say oil, they probably didn't have an oil as such back then, but uh, it would probably be more like an animal based oil. Um, which made things like slightly maybe a lard of yeah like yeah fat lard or something. Well, here's the question: the, is word, the word did, my spirit you, guides gave me was solution, and I had to work it out. And uh, I was thinking when I followed the car with the name oil on the on the registration. That was it. That's when I clicked. What, what about, about the types of uh, the types of beings that were responsible for manipulating? I was beings? thinking like, about were they poo -poo. Nephilim or was uh, it, uh, could it possibly be humans like you and feces. I walking the earth today? Were they? Well, I, I didn't. It didn't actually go that far. I didn't go that much into it. I mean, I was only asking a question as to uh, what was Stonehenge for, and how did they move the stones. Uh, but as I explained to Wolfman earlier, that um, I, it was my belief that the whole thing was uh, used as a, uh, a college or a university of some type uh, for people to go along and learn yeah, about yeah, yeah, survival, yeah, yeah. about life, and how to plant, when to plant, when to put the animals out, when to bring them back, when to harvest, you know, all about life survival, basically. And then once they'd learned from that, they would go off on their own, get married, move into their own little farms out on the moor somewhere or wherever, and they would build their own little Stonehenge and use that as their, as their clock, basically. And I think that's what Stonehenge was. It was a huge clock. And that's all it was. Yeah. So I mean, did, did, Bloody did fucking you out. 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 At what point in his life these experiences or these guides uh, introduced themselves? Or have you got to that part yet? Um, briefly, yes. Um, the okay. first section. I missed I miss that. Yeah. Um, I think I we're going from here is probably. Um. You could recap that if you want. I don't know. Where do you want to go from here, Spooks? Can't even hear me. What's going on in here? Fuck 
me, 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 fuck me, no, no, fuck you. This is crazy, 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 I know when he's there because I smell cigarettes and he was a heavy smoker. I get shown a photograph in my mind of a, of a cricket ground and his, his house was right next to a cricket ground. And then I feel the side of my bed when I'm lying in bed, I feel the bed go down as if somebody's sitting on the bed and I just pull my knees in and I'll just say, hi, granddad, what do you want? And then he starts showing me things, pictures in my mind that need sorting out. I need to go to Auntie so and so or Uncle so and so and tell them this and tell them that. He's not happy with this, he's not happy with that. <laughs> you know? And just because you're dead, just because you're in the spirit world doesn't mean that it's all over and done with and you don't care. Of course you do. You still care, you still love your family and you still wanna help. And if your family have got problems, you wanna come back and help them. Yeah, that's amazing, eh? That is amazing. So what's uh, one of the strangest things that you were told uh, that you had, or a more interesting story that earlier? Well, earlier, um, I've got many, many stories. And as I say, I've written three books and it, they're, they're all full of these stories. Um, I think one of the, my first ever um, amazing vision I ever had was... I was lying in bed, and these all happen around about 3 a.m. in the morning, which is the most spiritual time, apparently. This is when most things happen. And I'm always woken up with either somebody shouting my name, Spooks! or a bang on the door, a bang on the floor, or a door slamming. But it doesn't actually happen. It's all in your head. It's a spiritual noise. And they wake you up. And once they've got your attention, then they will um, start to show you things. And I one day was woken up and I was whisked off uh, a little bit like Warp Factor 10 Star Trek. You know how it goes woof, and it's gone. And all of a sudden I was stood in the middle of a river and it was as clear, as clear as day. And oh, I'm looking down the river. The river's flowing either side of me. It was about up to my knees, the water. And on the left hand side looking down was a toll path like uh, people were walking down or you could walk down the side of the river on this little path and then there was a ditch and some trees and bushes and the trees i'll tell you how clear it was it, they were silver birch trees that's how clear the picture was i could see that by the um the bark on the trees and i've just stood looking down this river and i'm looking from side to side and all of a sudden on my right uh, left hand side a lady walks down past me and i turned to look at her and she had a couple of dogs with her and as she walked down the toll path um there's a bush at the side of the river and from the bush out from behind the bush came um it was quite bizarre it was like a black cloak if you can imagine what a magician would wear uh, or the devil uh, with a big high pointed collar and this cloak went right over the top of this woman and, and that was it. I was awake and I sat up in bed and my heart was bang, 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 bang. It was pounding away and I was it frightened the life out of me, actually. And the next day, because my dad's an ex-policeman, I always I write everything down and I always tell him everything I see in a vision. And I spoke to him and I, I told him what I'd seen. And he, he was an ex-detective. And he said, that doesn't look good, Spooks. He says, I think... Um, you need to go back and see if you can ask some more questions. I said, well, what about? Because this was pretty much at the beginning of my learning. And he um, 
uh, told me to go back and find out where all this was supposed to be happening and everything else. And um, I went back and I asked if I could have um, a name and they gave me the name of a village, uh, which was Canton. And they then showed me a picture um, of this man and he was holding a lady and he was dragging her into the bushes round the, round the neck. And uh, they, they then showed me his right hand, uh, but they surrounded his right hand in light, making it a little bit more aware of what was going on. And he had a wedding ring on his right hand or a ring on his right hand, third finger. And when I told my dad about this, he said she'd been murdered by her ex-husband. And I said, well, what makes you say that? He said, because they're showing you his right hand, his wedding finger on his right hand. He said, which hand do you get married with? And I said, the left. He said, well, there you go. He said, when you get divorced or separated, you take your ring off and usually put it on the right hand. I went, oh, yeah, that's a good point. Never thought of that. Well, within two days, they'd found this lady and um, she'd been murdered. She'd been strangled with the um, the, the pieces of rope, uh, a dog, sorry, the dog leads around her neck. And um, they eventually after about 24 hours arrested her ex-husband and charged him with murder and it was just outside the village that they showed me the name of my spirit guide showed me the name and it, it all came true and i see a lot of this sort of stuff things that are going to happen and they always happen princess die i saw her crash um oh exactly gosh. as it happened exactly almost a year to the day all by a couple of days and I saw the car, I saw it go into the tunnel, I saw the crash, I saw a white car come alongside it and disappear, uh, and then the black car that Princess Di was in reversed back and came out of the tunnel the same way it went in, which in fact it did, but it was on the back of a lorry because it was totally... No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I almost went live by accident. Yeah. All right. Well, we're back on the uh, with the interview with Spooks, and I was just asking him if he lives anywhere near Stonehenge. I don't know why I thought that because I just love that place, but I don't know why I asked that. It's a beautiful place. Have you ever been there? No, I had a chance once, and I turned it down because I was in a rock band, and we had a gig, and now I regret it. Right. It's the most wonderful spiritual place you could ever go to, and I... Are you a raging alcoholic? Do you abuse your family? Well, let us help you. We are that anonymous alcoholic group. But don't take my advice... Here, it's straight from one of our members. Anonymous. I was an alcoholic for years and years. And they helped me because uh, it, 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 I, I, it took me away from my family where I can't hurt anyone and I cannot drive. And I could just get drunk in that drunken community. And we didn't hurt anybody. And I still live there in that drunken community. But we don't hurt anyone anymore. And nobody knows who you are. So if you want to join, then come on in. And we can all be anonymous alcoholics. Please call 555-6969. Any time always. We're here to help. The number again is 555-6969. Anonymous
kind of shit effect of this. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Sing in the rain, the rain, the rain. Don't tell me you're fucking bastard. Shooting at me, you 